Critical reflection is what happens when we gather ideas, facts, and observations, and take them on the ride through our very own super-powered processor, adding information we've already stored, personal impressions from experiences we've had, collecting data, asking questions, and using our imagination to explore possible outcomes. Critical reflection is the mental journey we take to make sense out of the world around us. Let's explore a big problem that affects us all. Plastic in the ocean. There are three phases of critical reflection. First, we reflect on the what. What are the basic facts? Many of us use recycling bins at home, but lots of plastic actually can't be recycled. Only 5% of the plastic we use gets recycled, and as much as 13 million tons ends up in landfills or the ocean. At the next phase of critical reflection, we ask, so what? And we try to make sense of those facts. What does it all mean? What is the impact of all that plastic in the ocean? The thing about plastic is it never just goes away. Unlike organic materials, plastic does not biodegrade. And we are all eating it. Ocean plastic breaks into tiny particles and is ingested all the way up the food chain to our dinner plate. Ooh, gross! At the next level of critical reflection, we now ask, now what? And turn our new knowledge into action. What can we do to reduce the amount of plastic in the ocean? Before, it seemed like recycling was a good solution, but when we reflect more, we can discover new solutions. We can cut down our consumption of plastic, choose sustainable alternatives, and say no to single-use plastics. We can spread the word. It's not always about coming up with the right answer. Using our critical thinking skills to reflect on an issue activates our problem-solving instincts and our creativity. Good thing, because critical thinking doesn't end. It is a continuous cycle. So once we've taken action, what are the new facts? So what? Now what?